Okay, hi. This is Dr. Zuckerman. In front of us, in front of us, we have the back of the Diawave 15 high energy laser. It comes in two models. It comes in a 10 watt and a 15 watt. Today, we're going to show you how to set it up. We're going to show you how to program it, go over all the internal features, and we're going to show you some precautions in using the laser. The first thing um, we do is we. This is called the interlock. And the interlock is used, this is the key to the laser. Without this, you cannot operate the laser. When you plug anything into this unit, it must be turned off. And two is you put it in gently. You never force anything. Always read the label. It says interlock. The red mark is at 12 o'clock. You push it in and you just push it in and see how it locks? Out. 12 o'clock high with the red dot and in. The next feature is the foot pedal pulls right out everything they're all the same uh, adapters 12 o'clock if you put it in not at 12 o'clock it will not go in do not force it or you'll break it slips right in and there see how it's in very easily this is the foot pedal the foot pedal is used specifically for when you're doing surgical warts and when you're doing fungus toenails you must open it up to use it. This is the area where you press your foot. We'll demonstrate that for you. If you press it when it's closed, it will not function. It does appear to work with it closed because of these three little uh, bars. But you press it, opens up. The last thing that needs to be plugged in, now remember, everything is turned off, is the power cord. Slips in, make sure it's tight. This is a typical, classical power cord that you use in a computer. So everything is set up, the interlock, the foot pedal, and the power switch, cord. That's how you turn it on, one and zero, that turns it on. In fact, when you turn this around, you'll see the screen coming up. So in the one position, it comes on. Now we have the screen. It says, please enter your password. It's four zeros, one, two, three, four. It might be in our, in our uh, later models, 11111. Please, if it doesn't work at four zeros, try 1111. It also should be in your manual. If you have a problem, ask us. So in this one, it's four zeros and you press enter. It'll go through a self-diagnostic screen. The power detection says okay. The foot switch detection. Everything says okay. So we're going through a full self-testing um, uh, diagnostic feature. Right now it's in a standby mode. It's set for uh, one of our protocols, the fungus toenails. Uh, 800 on, that's time on or pulse width, 800 off at 4 watts. We have a couple proposals. We've got an 850, we've got a 3 and 30, 3 millimeter, um, excuse me, a 3, it could be a, uh, also a, uh, a 2 millimeter or a 400 micron, which is a 2 millimeter, and a 600 micron, which is a 3 millimeter. That's three, se 3 milliseconds on and 30 milliseconds off if you press this. And it's um, set wrong. Let's say this is the one happens to be set wrong for some reason. All you do is adjust. Uh, well, actually it isn't. We're gonna, we start at 4. We're going to correct this for you right now. There it is at 4, 3 milliseconds on. See the MS? 30 milliseconds off. This particular laser works in micron, milli, and seconds. We're going to press go back to proposals. And um, it's set. The way you know it's set correctly, it's 4, 3, 30, repeat mode. And there it is perfectly right there. So if there's a mistake with it set wrong, I showed you how to correct it very easily. You can, you can use the plus and the minus to change the wattage at any time. You can change the power second. Now, here's a, a, an important feature in all of these lasers, especially the 10, the uh, 15, and the 30. If you're doing a nail procedure or war procedure and you want to keep the same power, time off means the amount of time the laser beam per pulse is off. So you can just move it to 40 or 50. But usually, 30 works well. The goal with warts and the goal with nails is to put as much power in with little to no pain. And that's by putting high watts and little um, and keeping the time off. 
and the time on small. If you want to use it, you turn it on um, ready, that will turn it on. You lift up the foot pedal. In this case, we're using the, um, the hand piece. Uh, this, is a, this happens to be a, um, a 400 micron. And there's the beam that's on. If you want to start it on, you just press. It should press it down. Hold up. 